what kinds of themes do you see in, in South Asia and trade courts specifically? Well, I mean, you know, we, we live in, an, in, an, in an, a chemical environment. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, we, we see enough of the um, injury type suits. We see a substantial amount of that. Okay. But we also see a lot of business litigation now that's coming our way. Um, companies, you know, that are involved in litigation because either contracts go poorly, relationships go badly, mm -hmm. something ends up happening. So it's like I said, you have the beginning, which is documentation that starts a relationship, but then you also have to sometimes take it apart. And so we do both ends of that particular transaction. So, you know, okay. we'll look at a contract that you might have confected with somebody when you were on the front end of the relationship. Now the relationship is ending and not in a good way. And so you have to refer to the court system. Well, we're also going to look at we're going to look at what happened at the beginning, we're looking at what happened in the middle, and then we're going to want to know what happened at the end. Follow the whole process. Yeah, so the whole process will impact how you end up getting out of that situation, what you take from that relationship. And the contract is going to control things, of course, because that's the way that, that business works. Mm -hmm. But there's also the opportunity sometimes for um, people's interpretation, for extra information that comes in later. A lot of people make changes to their relationships business-wise uh, that weren't anticipated, and those things can often uh, lead to litigation. So, you know, I mean, we, we look at interactions between humans yeah. on every scale, all the way down from how, how, how parents behave with their children in the juvenile court system to the way that people interact with the traffic laws in the first parish and second parish mm. court to, you know, a major corporation that, you know, had an explosion you know, and there's a thousand people who are now right. litigating uh, uh, against that company. Or how about uh, a major corporation that's in the middle of a construction uh, uh, project and something goes wrong? Yeah. Okay, well, guess what? They're coming to me. So, I mean, you know, so all those different types of relationships, how they get put together and how they get taken apart, that is basically where I stand. Now, I, we also do criminal. So, I mean, you know, we handle everything all the way down from misdemeanors to felonies, Holy you know. Smokes. Yeah, so we do both. I mean, you know, my... Um, all of the courts in Louisiana, except for New Orleans, okay. have a mixed jurisdiction. Okay, so Orleans Parish is the only the only parish in in the state of Louisiana that has a separate criminal court and a separate civil court. No all kidding. right, every other parish is a mixed jurisdiction. So all of the parishes that I preside over, mm -hmm. their judges handle everything. From uh, they handle everything from from uh, any kind of misdemeanor, felony, to, to all this litigation that we talked about. Yeah. Anything, domestic, juvenile, they do it all. 